In this tutorial, we are going to see how to analyze and interpret dichotomous binary or what we call dummy coded yes no question statistics. So stay tuned till the end of the video and do not forget to subscribe and like if this content is relevant to you. So let's get started. So here we have a code book for uh, dichotomous uh, yes no questions. So first, no is coded as one and uh, yes is coded as two. Sometimes for dummy coding, especially when it comes to binary logistic regression, we need to code, for example, no as zero and yes as one. So this is uh, another way that we call dummy coded. We are going to see how we can interpret this and the other one. So we have this range in case we have one and two. We take two and uh, minus one, so it gives us one, and we take one and we divide it by two, and then it gives us 0 0.50. So this is the interval that we will be using. So uh, any mean score that ranges from one to 1.50, this gives us no value or negative value, and any mean score that ranges from 1.51 to two, this gives us yes value in case they are coded as one and two. And this is how we reach the mean score or what we call the weighted mean score or composite score that is used for some tests like uh, binary logistic regression, like ANOVA, t-test, etc. Uh, the mean score is the average of all of the values given in a set of data, and the mean is the sum of all values divided by the total number of values. For example, we have four values here, one, two, three, four. So this is four, and we take just the sum of all of these fours that are yes and no coded as one and two, and just we divide by the number of the values, and this gives us the weighted mean score or the composite score or the overall mean score. So this is in brief how we uh, do that. Uh, then we have the in, uh, how to interpret dummy coded or what we call dichotomous or binary uh, variable. So in case we have the no and yes coded as zero for no and one uh, as yes, uh, we have this range. So we take just again a one divided by two. It gives us this interval of 0 0.50. And then we keep uh, starting with the, the lowest value or the lower limit, which is zero. And then we add 0 0.50 here. So from 0 to 0 0.50, this gives us no. And from uh, 0.51 to 1, this gives us yes. And this table will illustrate uh, this uh, dichotomous or binary mean score in case they are coded as 1 and 2. So here we have this uh, interval, which means negative, and this one, which means positive. This means that if you find some values from 1.50 to 2, uh, this means that the majority of the respondents uh, are showing, let's say, positive rating of some statements or they have positive attitudes or, let's say, they are in favor of certain uh, uh, option. So the rate, yes, more than no. So this is like uh, what this means. Then we have the binary uh, dummy coded uh, variable. So here we have zero and one, and this is the interval again, and these are the variable interpretations, negative and positive, depending on the range. So this is in brief how we uh, do the coding. Now we move to a practical example using SPSS. On a species, we have the variables or the questions or the items uh, on this uh, row. And then we have the uh, respondents or the cases on this column. So here, for example, respondent one uh, said yes. So it's going to be coded as two. Uh, said the respondent two said no. It's coded as one. And then respondent three said, for example, a yes as coded as two. Suppose that this item here is coded as binary from zero and uh, one. So in case respondent one says, for example, uh, yes, it's going to be coded as one. In case respondent two said, for example, no, this is going to be coded as zero. And in case respondent three said, yes, this is going to be coded as one. Uh, so this is like how we do the coding and I just go back here to the variable view and I will just give them the labels for example variable one is coded as for example one meaning no and the plus sign and the two meaning yes and then click OK so this is item one and for item two or question two it is a dummy coded variable. So again, I will just code this as zero meaning no and the one meaning yes. 
Mm. So this is how we do the coding. We click OK. And now I want to analyze this. I can analyze them using the mean score according to the ranges I told you about or using frequencies and percentages, especially if we have other options like uh, I don't know, that will be three point Likert scale, in which case I advise you to see the other video on how to interpret three point Likert scale. So anyways, let's just do the analysis. We go to analyze, then descriptive statistics, then frequencies, and I will just move these two variables here. And uh, then I go to statistics. I will choose the mean and the standard deviation and click continue. And here I keep display frequency tables and click OK. And here is the mean and standard deviation. You see the mean for question one is 1.66 and the, uh, the mean for question two is 0.66. So if we go to the intervals, we can make the interpretation. So 1.66 is above uh, uh, this is threshold of uh, 1.50. This means that most respondents here uh, say yes. And 0.66 again is above uh, the threshold of 0 0.50. This means that most respondents say yes. And if we see the frequencies, we can uh, validate this. For example, uh, most respondents say yes, two respondents out of three. And this is 66%. And uh, the same here because these are the same numbers. Here you could see also the frequencies and percentages at the same time. Uh, so this is in brief how you can uh, analyze and interpret uh, dichotomous, binary, or what we call dummy coded uh, variables. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon. Bye for now.